Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mad TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve homogeneous second order linear differential equation. To solve this kind of differential equations, we can first take out all the constants that we have. There are 1, negative 9, and positive 20. And we should give a variable for all these constants, let's say m. Take note that this variable should rise to the power according to their respective derivatives. For example, for the first term, since it is second order, which means that we should rise to a degree of 2, that is power 2. First order, power 1. Y is not a derivative, so power 0. This is simply equal to m squared minus 9m plus 20. Don't forget we should make it equal to 0. Next, factorize the equation. If let's say we are not good in factorization, we can first find all the possible factors for the constant c, that is 20. So we should have 1 multiplied 20 equal to 20, 2 multiplied 10 equal to 20, and 4 multiplied 5 equal to 20. From here, we should realize that only the last combination would produce negative 9 if we take either the addition or subtraction. That is, negative 4 minus 5 is equal to negative 9, which means that the factors of this equation are m minus 4 and m minus 5, which means that we should have m minus 4 equal to 0 or m minus 5 equal to 0. Rearrange the equation, we obtain m is equal to 4 and m is equal to 5. For this kind of differential equation that we obtain two real and distinct roots, the general solution is y is equal to c1 e to the power of m1x plus c2 e to the power of m2x, where c1 and c2 are two arbitrary constants. By comparing, we should have y is equal to c1 e to the power of 4 x plus c2 e to the power of 5x. Since c1 and c2 are two arbitrary constants, which means that we can also write the equation as y is equal to c1 e to the power 5x plus c2 e to the power 4x. They are considered exactly the same answer. And hence, we then. Let's try for the second example. Also, write out all the constants. We have 1, positive 3, and positive 2. Again, we vary able according to the respective derivative. So we have second order power 2, first order power 1, not a derivative power 0, which means that we have m squared plus 3m plus 2 for this case. Again, let's factorize. We have m plus 1 and m plus 2. In other words, m plus 1 is equal to 0 or m plus 2 equal to 0. Rearrange the equations, we obtain m is equal to minus 1 and m is equal to negative 2. Again, two real and distinct roots, which means that the solution to this differential equation is c1 e to the power of negative x plus c2 e to the power of negative 2 x and hence we then. Next example, if we have familiar with the method, we can write the equation directly. So we have 3m squared minus 2m minus 5 is equal to 0. Let's factorize, we should obtain 3m minus 5 multiply m plus 1 is equal to 0. If let's say we are not familiar in factorizing this kind of equation where a is not equal to 1, that is a simple half. What we have to do here is take a and we multiply the term c. So 3 multiply negative 5 is negative 15. Then factorize this equation as usual. So for the factor 15, we can take 1 multiply 15 equal to 15. 3 multiply 5 equal to 15. And from here, we should realize that only the last combination will result negative 2. That is plus 3 minus 5. Which means that the factors are m plus 3 
and m minus 5. Take note that this is not the solution, since what we have here is a equal to 3, but not a equal to 1. Therefore, we should reverse the process, that is, divide 3 for both values that we obtain. So we should have m plus 1 and m minus 5 over 3. Of course, if you don't want to have over 3 here, we can rewrite this term and bring it to the coefficient of m. And thus, we obtain 3m minus 5. Continue solving the equation, we have 3m minus 5 is equal to 0, or m plus 1 equal to 0, which means that we have m is equal to 5 over 3, or m is equal to negative 1. Again, two real and distinct risks. So the solution to this differential equation is y is equal to c1 e the power 5 over 3x plus c2 e to the power negative x and hence we that. Next example, we have m squared plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. Factorize, we should obtain m plus 2 multiply m plus 2 equal to 0. And this could also be written as m plus 2 squared equal to 0. In other words, this time we have only one factor, that is m plus 2. Rearrange the equation, we obtain m is equal to negative 2. This time we obtain equal risk. And the general solution is y is equal to c1 plus c2x multiply e to the power of mx. Substitute m into the equation, we obtain y is equal to c1 plus c2x multiply e to the power of negative 2x and hence we did. Next example, we have m squared plus 2m plus 1 is equal to 0. Factorize, we should have m plus 1 squared is equal to 0, which means that m equal to negative 1 is the only root. So the solution to this differential equation is y is equal to c1 plus c2x multiply e to the power negative x, and hence we did. Next example, we have 4m squared minus 4m plus 1 is equal to 0. So we have 2m minus 1 squared is equal to 0. In other words, 2m minus 1 is equal to 0, and m is equal to 1 over 2. Again, two real and equal roots. So the solution to this differential equation is y is equal to c1 plus c2 x multiply e to the power 1 over 2x and hence we then. Next example, we have m squared plus 2m plus 2 equal to 0. Take note that this time if we consider b squared minus 4ac, we have 2 squared minus 4 multiply 1 multiply 2. That is equal to negative 4, which is less than 0. In other words, this time we have complex roots. So let's apply the quadratic formula. We have negative 2 plus minus square root of 2 square minus 4 multiply 1 multiply 2. And we divide it by 2 multiply 1, which means that this is equal to negative 2 plus minus square root of negative 4 divided by 2. Take note that negative 1 is simply equal to i square, the imaginary number. In other words, we should have have negative 2 plus minus 2i divided by 2 and this is simply equal to negative 1 plus minus i. For this kind of differential equation, the general solution should in the form of y is equal to e to the power of px multiply c1 cos qx plus c2 sine qx, where p should take the real part while q should take the constant of the imaginary part. That is, y is equal to e to the power of negative x multiply c1 cos 1x or simply x plus c2 sine x and hence we that. Next example, we have m squared plus 0m 
plus 4 is equal to 0. That is simply m squared plus 4 equal to 0. So we have m squared is equal to negative 4. Let's take square root on both sides. So we have m is equal to plus minus square root of negative 4. Again, complex root. So we should have plus minus square root of 4i squared. That is plus minus 2i or this can be written as 0 plus minus 2i. Take note that the real part for this case is 0 and the constant of the imaginary part is 2. So the solution for this differential equation should have e to the power 0x multiply c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x. Since the exponent to the power of 0 is equal to 1, which means that the equation can be written as c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x and hence we then. Let's try for the last example of this video. We have 2m squared plus 4m plus 4 is equal to 0. Take note that b squared minus 4ac is equal to 4 squared minus 4 multiplied to multiply 4 and this is equal to negative 16 which is less than 0. In other words, this time we should obtain complex roots again. So let's apply the quadratic formula. We have m is equal to minus 4 plus minus square root of 4 square minus 4 multiplied 2 multiplied 4 and this should be divided by 2 multiplied 2. So we have negative 4 plus minus square root of negative 16 and divided by 4. So we have negative 4 plus minus square root of 16i square divided by 4. So this is equal to negative 4 plus minus 4i divided by 4. And we should obtain negative 1 plus minus 1i or simply i. Which means that the solution to this differential equation is y is equal to e to the power of negative x multiplying c1 cos x plus c2 sine x. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.